is me, Malka Marie, your favorite big system mentor and life coach. And today we are jumping ahead in our 21 day challenge. Guess what, ladies? We are up to day 18, chapter 18, which means we have three more chapters to go, which means our challenge is going to be over. And I can sincerely say I have enjoyed this time with you all through YouTube comments and questions. I have been so edified and I, I pray that y'all gets all the esteem for, for leading and guiding us to do this challenge. But the whole purpose of doing this challenge was to kickstart the habit of daily reading the Father's Word. And thus far, we see it does not take much time of our day. And hopefully you have been doing it around the same time of day. So after three days, when we're done, on day 22 or day one of your new days of spending time with the Father, you're going to pick up another book and you're going to continue this routine. So without further ado, ladies, let's get into John chapter 18. Book of John chapter 18. Having said these words, Yahushua went out with his taught ones beyond the Kidron Torrent, where there was a garden into which he and his taught ones entered. And Yehuda, who delivered him up, also knew the place, because Yahushua often met there with his top ones. Yehuda then, having received the company of soldiers and officers from the chief priests and Pharisees, came there with lanterns and torches and weapons. Yehushua then, knowing all that would come upon him, went forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Yehushua of Nazareth. Yehushua said to them, I am. And Yehuda, who delivered him up, was also standing with them. When therefore he said to them, I am, they drew back and fell to the ground. Once more he asked them, Whom do you seek? And they said, Yehushua of Nazareth. Yehushua answered, I said to you that I am. If then you seek me, allow these to go, in order that the word might be filled which he spoke, of those whom you gave me, I have lost none. Then Shimon Kepha, having a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear, and the servant's name was Melech. Then Yahushua said to Kepha, Put your sword into the sheath. Shall I not drink the cup which my father has given me? Then the company of soldiers and the commander and the officers of the Yehudim seized Yahushua and bound him. And they led him away to Hanan first, for he was the father-in-law of Hepha, who was the high priest that year. Now Hepha was the one who gave counsel to the Yehudim that it was better that one man should die for the people. But Shimon Kepha followed Yahushua with another taught one. And that taught one was known to the high priest and went with Yahushua into the courtyard of the high priest. But Kepha was standing outside at the door. So the other taught one, who was known to the high priest, went out and spoke to her who kept the door and brought Kepha in. Then the servant girl who kept the door said to Kepha, Are you also one of this man's taught ones? He said, I am not. And the servants and officers who had made a fire of coals stood there, because it was cold, and they warmed themselves, and Kepha was standing with them and warming himself. Then the high priest asked Yahushua about his taught ones and his teaching. Yehushua answered him, I spoke openly to the world. I always taught in the congregation and in the set-apart place where the Yehudim always meet, and I spoke no word in secret. Why do you ask me? Ask those who have heard me what I said to them. See that they know what I said. And when he had said this, one of the officers who stood by slapped Yahushua in the face, saying, Do you answer the high priest this way? 
Yahushua answered him, If I have evilly bear witness of the evil, but if well, why do you strike me? Then Hanan sent him bound to the high priest, Caiaphas, and Simon Kepha was standing and warming himself. Then they said to him, Are you also one of his taught ones? He denied it and said, I am not. One of the servants of the high priest, a relative of the one whose heir Kepha cut off, said, Did I not see you in the garden with him? Then Kepha again denied it, and immediately a cock crowed. Then they led Yahushua from Kaifa to the palace, and it was early. And they themselves did not enter into the palace, lest they should be defiled, but that they might eat the Pesach. Pilate therefore came out to them and said, What accusation do you bring against this man? They answered and said to him, if he were not an evildoer, we would not have delivered him up to you. Then Pilate said to him, You take him and judge him according to your law. The Yehudim said to him, It is not right for us to put anyone to death. In order that the word of Yahushua might be filled, which he spoke, signifying by which death he was about to die. Then Pilate went back into the palace and called Yahushua and said to him, Are you the sovereign of the Yahudim? Yahushua answered him, Do you say this from yourself, or did others talk to you about me? Pilate answered, Am I a Yahudi? Your own nation and the chief priests have delivered you to me. What did you do? Yahushua answered, My reign is not of this reign. If my reign were of this reign, my servants would fight, so that I should not be delivered to the Yahudim. But now my reign is not from here. Then Pilate said to him, You are a sovereign then? Yahushua answered, You say it, because I am a sovereign. For this I was born, and for this I have come into the world, that I may bear witness to the truth. Everyone who is of the truth hears my voice. Pilate said to him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Yahudim and said to them, I find no guilt in him. But you have a habit that I should release someone to you at the Pesach. Do you wish then that I release to you the sovereign of the Yahudim? Then they all shouted again saying, not this one, but Baraba and Baraba was a robber. That concludes chapter 18. Our journal topic for um, chapter 18 is going to be a question of reflection that you can write in your journal. I want us to kind of examine what's happening. Like if we just step back and really see what's happening between the Messiah and Kepha. Kind of project ourselves into the position of Kepha. Kepha is a follower of Mashiach. He said, I will, I will die for you. You know, he's zealous, cuts off the air of the high priest. But when his life was really in somewhat of a danger, he denied Messiah. Not once, not twice, three times. And every time I read that chapter, I always think to myself, can I be that brave to suffer persecution because I believe in Yahushua? Oftentimes, take it to prayer because I don't want to live this life and walk this walk. And that at the end, when difficulties in this life happens and comes, that I deny my master and lose my salvation and lose my opportunity to see my heavenly father. It's a scary thought because we don't know what might cause us to buckle, you know? 
Kepha was strong. He walked with the Messiah, but he denied him. Now, we haven't walked with the Messiah face to face. We didn't live with him for three and a half years. We didn't have this face to face relationship. We didn't have any of those things. And I often think, can I stand in the time of persecution and suffering? And we know the time of persecution and suffering is going to come upon this um, upon the believers. Scriptures call it Jacob's trouble, where we're not going to be able to function in this world as easy as we can today. Are we going to deny Messiah? Are we going to say that he understands I have to eat? I have to do this. I have to do that. He'll understand. And then our actions deny Messiah. Our question for reflection. I'm not even sure how to pose this. Well, maybe we should even have a question. Maybe what we should write in our journal this evening is a prayer. Write a prayer that Abba would reveal to us what would cause us to deny him and for the strength to stand firm in the face of persecution, even if it cost us our lives. Chapter 18 is in the history books, my dear sisters. Three more days to go and we get our reward. I'm looking forward to my smoothie king. Until next time, beloved daughters of Yah, it is me, Malcolm Marie, your favorite big sister, mentor, and life coach. Shalom, queens. Mm -hmm.